Don't forget to subscribe and leave a comment on this video saying I subscribed. Let's get into it. At a time when the US is keenly watching each and every strategic step being taken by India, in its quest to become long-term partners in the Indo-Pacific region, the recent appointment of Weiwei Klal, at Lockheed Martin, spells positive news not only for the US, but also for India. When he was with Boeing, he spearheaded the deals on Harpoon Systems, P-8 I long-range maritime patrol aircraft, Apache helicopters, and Chinook heavy lift helicopters. These deals amounted to $12 billion, out of the total $15 billion defense trade between India and the US. When he was with General Atomics of US, he enabled the US government to sell Category 1 drones to India. But now, he is facing the daunting task of selling over 200 fighter jets to India, to augment the squadron strength of the Indian Air Force, as the Indian manufacturing plant would make 4 F-16 jets every month. But according to sources, it has appeared that there is a great interest by both Indian Air Force and Indian Navy for Lockheed's F-35, the world's only operational stealth fighter jet, and a growing inclination has been seen in US, for offering the aircraft to India. In response to the latest developments, the Defense Ministry gave the initial approvals, to several acquisition proposals, which includes new rifles, light machine guns, and sniper rifles. 7.4 lakh new rifles, and 16,500 light machine guns, collectively worth an estimated 15,935 crore rupees, will be procured for the three services under the Make in India production policy. The Defence Acquisition Council has also approved the procurement of 5,719 sniper rifles for the Army and Air Force, at an estimated cost of 982 crores from the global market. The Defence Acquisition Council has also approved the procurement of the Mirich, the indigenous advanced torpedo decoy systems, which has successfully completed extensive trials after being developed by the DRDO. Because of the delays in defense modernization, government-to-government -government deals have become the favored route to conclude major defense contracts. The Navy's multi-role helicopter tender for 16 helicopters which began in 2009, was stuck over cost negotiations with Sikorsky for over two years due to price escalation. The Navy cancelled the tender last year, and a fresh tender for 24 helicopters will be issued shortly. There is an possibility of an intergovernmental agreement, as the helicopter has already been tested. Government-to-government -government deal will ensure delivery of the helicopters at the earliest. <laughs> Rafale Advanced Defense Systems have confirmed that its manufacturing plant in Hyderabad, which was established in 2017 for manufacturing the Spike ATGMs, together with the Kalyani Group, will remain open, even though the deal to manufacture the systems in India has been called off. A spokesman of Rafale Advanced Defense Systems has said, that the manufacturing plant is designed to make additional systems, not just the spike systems, so the plant will simply manufacture other systems. Among the company's major achievements, is the development of the Iron Dome system, which is a pioneer, in interception technology.